Hey, it's Mike Brennan, and we're doing another one of our video news updates, this time with Brian Wassum, who works with Warner Norcross and Judd. And Brian just had a really big case come down last week where they won in the sense of uh, reaffirming First Amendment rights for augmented reality games. Why don't you tell us all about it, Brian? Sure, Mike. Thanks. So uh, the case we filed was on behalf of a company called Candy Lab. They're a uh, software augmented reality game uh, developer out of Irvine, California. We filed against the county of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And the case involves a, an ordinance that Milwaukee County adopted regulating location-based augmented reality games, um, just like Pokemon Go. And of course, Pokemon Go was the inspiration for this ordinance. So we, you know that a year ago now, uh, almost exactly a year, um, Pokemon Go was launched to the uh, surprise of many, became a surprise hit, and um, as a result, you know, municipalities around the country were dealing with uh, influxes of crowds that they didn't anticipate. Numbers of people in public parks, other public areas where these Pokestops were located, and um, they had some issues in various places with, with people, uh, whether that's trespassing or littering, uh, infractions of that nature. So most municipalities around the country, they, they dealt with these sorts of things the way they always deal with them. If people litter, they ticket them for littering. If the people trespass, they ticket them for trespassing. Uh, Milwaukee decided to go one better and uh, regulate not the people playing the game, but the companies publishing the game. And that's where you start to get into constitutional issues because uh, the, the First Amendment doesn't take kindly to governments uh, forbidding the publication of speech before it's even published. We call that a prior restraint. And that's uh, almost, almost always going to be found unconstitutional um, as it was in this ruling. All right, so what does that mean in the end? Uh, what does that do? We can go ahead and, and uh, do augmented reality games and not worry about government regulations uh, infringing on our freedom of speech? Well, I wish one court ruling could, uh, could clear the way for all content in, in all jurisdictions and, and for all time. Uh, it's not quite that broad. I won't uh, claim it to be, but it's a great first step. It's, uh, it's a preliminary ruling, meaning the case isn't over. Uh, we still have to wrap the case up, but it's a strong ruling in that the court wouldn't have ruled our way if it had not found, like it did, that we had a strong uh, likelihood of winning at the end of the case and a strong likelihood specifically of proving that this ordinance, which forbid the publication of these games without the county's permission, um, was a prior restraint and thus violated the First Amendment, went way beyond what governments have the power to do. So that is a, a great precedent uh, to cite in future cases and really ought to go a long way. It's, like, like I said, not going to solve every problem, but it's going to go a long way in assuring uh, game developers that their content is going to receive just as much protection legally as it would have in any other medium of expression. And that's Brian Wassum, who uh, is the actually co-chairman of the brand new practice at Warner Norcross and Judd, Emerging Technology and Connected Tech. And you are watching a video news update.